What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Well today I've got my hands on the Verni Mix 2. This is a budget smartphone with some impressive specs and I've heard of rumour that this smartphone is quite a beast in performance. You can pick this smartphone up for under $200 and today we will find out how good this smartphone really is. So inside the box you will find a user manual, two screen protectors, one for the front and one for the back, a power brick, a micro USB cable, a SIM eject tool, a clear smartphone case and the smartphone itself. So here it is guys, I have in my hands the Verni Mix 2. Wow, check this out guys. Just going to peel off the stickers. So first of all, let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. First thing to mention is the screen. You have an impressive, beautiful 6 inch screen with an aspect ratio of 18 by 9. Not only that, the screen resolution is an amazing 2K. That's 2169 by 1080p on a budget handset under $200. That's amazing. It's hard to call this a budget handset. It's incredible for what you're getting for this price. You also have the Helio P25 octa-core CPU running at 2.5 gigahertz. The GPU is the Mali T880. You have four gigs of LP DDR4 RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. You have dual band Wi-Fi AC, dual nano SIM card slots. This is a factory unlocked device. You have a fingerprint sensor on the back, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 7, and a 4200 milliamp battery. Now this smartphone is made from a combination of metal and Gorilla Glass. You have a metal frame with glass on the front and glass on the back. The corners are rounded and it feels very premium and comfortable in the hands. There are quite tiny bezels going all the way around, giving you a 93% screen to body ratio. So at the bottom, you have three touch buttons, home, menu and back. And on the bottom corner, you have a front facing eight megapixel camera. The fingerprint sensor is located on the back and does unlock the smartphone pretty quick and accurate every single time. This smartphone is only 8.2 millimeters thin and it weighs 205 grams. So let's quickly go through the ports. At the bottom of the device you will find a microphone, a micro USB charging port and a single speaker. On the side you have the volume rocker and the power button. At the top of the device you have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And on the other side you have a dual SIM card tray which can take two nano SIM cards or one micro SD card and one nano SIM card. So now we're going to check out some multimedia and gaming on this device. So let's see how this device handles full HD streaming and gaming. I've seen men. Someone in this room is going to be taken and it's going to be up to you to find them. It's a murder mystery party. It is a world seemingly familiar. Yet Now this smartphone reminds me so much of the Maze Alpha. The Maze Alpha was quite an impressive budget smartphone and you can see that they are near identical in design. However, the new Verni Mix 2 has this beautiful 18 by 9 aspect ratio making it more compact, a higher resolution 2K screen and greater pixels per inch. You also have a better camera in terms of higher megapixels and aperture. All the other specs appear to be the same but we will soon find out if in fact the Verni can perform better than the Alpha. Coming to the cameras, on the back you have a dual 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel shooter with an f2.0 aperture and on the front you have an 8 megapixel selfie camera. You can also take a maximum of 1080p video and this supports optical image stabilization.
Now in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 28 and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is quite a decent result considering the top speed I currently get is between 25 to 30 megabits per second. So here are the scores for Geekbench single and multi-core. And in the Anti2 benchmark test, we achieved a total score of 63,928. So let's see how this compares with other smartphones. So here is my top performing smartphone chart for 2017, showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. So as you can see, the Vony Mix 2 has achieved position 13 directly above the Maze Alpha. Now if we compare this smartphone to its own price bracket, then here is the top performing smartphone chart for under $250. And again, all devices have been ranked by anti 2 scores. And on this chart, the Vony Mix 2 has achieved position 4. Going forward, I will provide two charts so you can compare the device to all major smartphones and another chart for its own price bracket. So it'll be interesting to see which smartphone I get next and what overall score it achieves. I have started uploading these charts to my new website, chigstech.com, and they should be all available soon. So there you have it, guys. That was the Verney Mix 2. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So this is an excellent budget smartphone priced under $200. You're getting a beautiful 2K screen with 402 pixels per inch, giving you superb detail, color and sharpness. Furthermore, you have excellent specs, great performance. Battery life is also pretty good, giving you around 1.5 days of usage, which is quite standard these days for smartphones. You have a fingerprint sensor, Google Play, Android 7, dual cameras and the forever useful 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Coming to the cons, the back of the phone is made from glass and is effectively a fingerprint magnet, but you do have the option to use the supplied case and then fingerprints are no longer an issue. Photos at night or low light is never good on any budget smartphone. And finally, the speaker is not as loud as you would expect from a large screen phone, but nevertheless, it does the job and sounds pretty good. Bottom line, this is what I call getting a decent bang for your buck. You have a beautiful screen, great specs and performance, all for under $200, which I think is amazing. Also, this is classified as a budget handset due to the price, but there is absolutely nothing budget about the specs and quality of this smartphone. The smartphone is worth a lot more than the current price, and I would not be surprised if the price goes up soon. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. Let me know in the comments of what you think of this smartphone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.